In this video, we look at both peer-to-peer -peer and client-server networking. With a client-server network model, a server controls access and security for a shared file store, manages access to the internet, manages printing jobs, provides email services, and runs regular backups of data. A client makes requests to the server for data, connections, and other services. It's easier with this sort of setup to manage file security. It's also easier to back up shared data, and it's easier to install software updates to all computers at once. However, it can be expensive to set up and maintain. It often requires IT specialists to maintain, and the server is a single point of failure. Users will lose network access if the server fails. Client server networks are best suited to organizations with many computers or situations where many computers need access to the same information at the same time. With a peer-to-peer -peer model, a peer is a computer connected to the network. A peer is equal to all other peers. Peers serve their own files to each other and each peer is responsible for its own security and data backup. Peers usually have their own printers, and they can send print jobs to another peer to process, but that peer must be switched on to communicate with its connected printer. So these are very easy to maintain. Specialist staff are not required. There's no dependency on a single computer or server. Therefore, it's cheaper to set up as there's no expensive hardware. However, the network itself is less secure. Users will need to maintain and be responsible for their own backups, and it can be difficult to maintain a well-ordered file store. Peer-to-peer -peer networks are best suited to smaller organizations with fewer computers or where fewer users need access to the same data. Having watched this video, you should be able to answer the following key question. What is the difference between a client server and peer-to-peer -peer network topology?